To the trains. This is a story about Bolchi the bus. He came to work on the island of Solar during the busy season. He thought he was better than all the engines, so he tried to take their passengers away. Hmm. It was the sightseeing season of the island of Solar. The fact controllers' engines were working hard. The station were, were crowded with people. Jack, Donald, and Douglas were taking passengers from the station to the other parts of the island. Some passengers had been brought to a sort of by a big red bus called Bulgy. Hmm, suppose you keep on housing. Scoobert, you're my to Bulgy. Bulgy World look at the crowded platform and front. I wouldn't have brought more passengers if I'd known how many were here already, he said. But they are all enjoying their really themselves, said Duck. Pa, replied Bulgy crossly. Duck thought Bulgy was very moody. He told me Bulgy was rude to all the engines. Every time he saw them, he shot them. Down with the railways, he said the railways should be crawled close so coaches, buses and cars could do everything instead. The engines thought Bulgy was rather silly, but when another bus arrived to take Bulgy's passengers home, the engines were worried. This meant Bulgy was going to stay on the island. Will he really get the railway closed down and what will the engines do then? Oh, no, say, I'm sure. Bulgy told the passengers that he could get them to the big station faster than the engines could. That's rubbish, said Duck. It's much further by road. Yes, said Oliver, but Bulgy says he knows a shortcut. That evening, Duck was about to start his final journey of the day, but he only had a few passengers aboard. He waited for a few minutes, hoping he more he would turn up, but none did. Duck for bye. Just then, Duck heard aloud, Toot Toot! Bulgy was leaving the station. He had a sign on his side saying railway bus, but most of Duck's passengers had gone with Bulgy because he had told them he was working for the railway. Stop! Called the railway staff as Bulgy pulled away. But it was too late. Yeah, blue snaps! Bulgy said as he rode away with the passengers. Duck and his carriers, Alice and Mirabel, set off on their journey with a few passengers they had. Well, you didn't have the old teeth, said Alice to Mirabel. He's taken our people. Duck knew he had to stop Bulgy taking their passengers if he carried on like this. The road could be shut down. He wondered what they should do. Oops. But Bulgy was about to be stopped. His shortcut led the down narrow road with a low bridge. As he rushed under the bridge, there was a sudden screeching noise, and, the, and he ground to a halt. He tried to move forward, but he tried to move backwards, but it was no good. It was he was totally stuck. Cars and coaches beeped angrily at Bulge because he was blocking the road. A tall bus like you should never have gone down this road, they said. Mm, Bulges the passengers were furious. We shall have gone with Duck, they said. We will never let, let us down like this. We're going to miss our train at the big session. It's all your fault, they shouted at Bulge. Bulge didn't say a word either. As Duck reached the bridge, a man appeared by the truck waving a red warning flag. Danger! he cried. A bus is stuck under the bridge. Chuck moved slowly forward. He saw Bulgy under the bridge. So that is Bulgy's so called shortcut, he laughed. <laughs> Bulgy held his breath as the sold moved over the bridge. The bus tricked us, said Bulgy's passengers. 
He said he was working for the railway, but he lied. What can we go with you instead? Duck agreed and took all the passengers to the big station. In time for a train. The passengers promised they will always travel by train from now on. Hmm, fucking bulgy. Mm. Bulgy was left under the bridge. He had to wait all night before he was rescued. He didn't learn his lesson though. He still thought he could take over the railway. But by then, everyone knew that it was faster to go by train, so they all traveled the engine instead. Bulgy agora tá bonzinho. Peraí, amigo. Bulgy decided to retire. He asked the farmer if he could live in his field and look after his hens. The farmer agreed. From that day on, Bulgy was much happier. The hens enjoyed hearing about his grand adventures on the bus route and how the terrible engines were. They didn't know any better, and Bulgy felt proud because he, the hens produced more eggs than ever before. The end.